when it comes to treating peripheral nerve injuries, time is muscle, meaning that the sooner you get treatment, the better your chance of recovery. To understand why, let's look at how your body is affected. Peripheral nerve injuries can lead to a loss of muscle movement and sensation in your upper or lower limb. Sometimes there can also be nerve pain. To manage these problems, there are various options. An early discussion with a nerve surgeon is very important because the recovery of muscle movement is time sensitive. Why is this? Normally, in our peripheral nervous system, sensory nerves relay signals from our skin to our brain. <laughs> For muscle movement, signals from our brain are relayed via nerves to the muscles. Let's imagine each muscle as a city that depends on railways for signals to be delivered. If the nerve pathway to relay these signals is disrupted, they can no longer reach the muscle to initiate movement. Luckily, peripheral nerves can regrow, but very slowly, and in many cases, only if the damage is repaired. If the site of the injury is far from the muscle, the nerve will take a long time to regrow to the muscle. This is a problem because a muscle without nerve signals permanently loses its ability to function after 12 to 18 months. For this reason, it is important to see a nerve surgeon early to discuss potential options for the management of your nerve injury. Many good treatments are available today. One possible option is nerve transfer surgery, which has the potential to recover good muscle movement and recover sensation in the upper or lower limbs. Let's look at an example for recovering elbow flexion. In our bodies, we have more than one muscle in charge of flexing our wrists. Because of this repetition, we can use the function from one of the wrist flexor muscles by taking this nerve and rerouting it to the injured nerve. Specific exercises will be needed to help the brain learn how to make this new connection work. But overall, the surgery reduces the distance that the nerve must grow to reach the muscle, allowing connection before permanent damage occurs. And as we can see, elbow flexion can be recovered without losing wrist flexion. Well, how do you know if this is an option for you? A consultation with a nerve surgeon. During a visit, you may undergo nerve studies where a small pin is put into your muscle to see if there is any nerve-to-muscle connection. This will help the surgeon determine the most suitable surgical or non-surgical treatments for you. If a nerve transfer surgery is performed, you will need to avoid putting weight on the surgical area for up to three weeks to protect the connected nerves. Since the results of a nerve transfer may take from six to 12 months before you start seeing improvements, and up to two years for maximal results. Patience is important. Time is needed for the nerve to reach the muscle, for the muscle to slowly grow stronger, and for your brain to be retrained. You will take an active part in your recovery to achieve good surgical results, working closely with your doctor, an occupational therapist, or physiotherapist, and completing daily exercises to help the brain learn how to make your new nerve connection work. Because peripheral nerve injuries can have devastating effects, it is important to see a nerve surgeon as soon as possible. Earlier treatment leads to better surgical outcomes for both muscle and sensory function. <laughs>